Can your laptop cause infertility? How about your cell phone? These are common questions from my patients, and it originates from worries about heat, Wi-Fi, electromagnetic fields. But what does the evidence show? Watch this video if you want to learn more about laptops, cell phones, and your fertility. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people build families for years. And I answer questions every single day about laptops, cell phones, electromagnetic fields. People are worried about this for their fertility. We are constantly seeing headlines that birth rates are dropping, sperm counts are dropping. People are worried about the impact on their fertility of these modern luxuries of having a computer in your pocket your cell phone, your laptop. It's amazing to stay connected, but people have legitimate concerns. In this video, we're going to cover four things. Number one, we are going to review what Google and Instagram are telling you to worry about when it comes to laptops, cell phones, and your fertility. Number two, we're going to go through the evidence surrounding male factor fertility and these concerns. Number three, we're going to go over female factor fertility and whether women should worry about laptops, cell phones, etc. And finally, number four, I will end this video with what I recommend to my own patients. Let's get started. So first of all, what are these claims? What are these worries? Well, the main worries about modern luxuries and staying connected with laptops and cell phones comes from two different thoughts. Number one is heat exposure. We know that prolonged exposure to heat can impact sperm parameters. And so the worry is that you're, you're having this heat exposure if you're having a laptop sitting in your lap or you're carrying your cell phone in your pocket. That's the number one worry about these laptops and cell phones. Number two, there's a worry about Wi-Fi and electromagnetic fields and just being exposed to all of these fields. Maybe that's impacting DNA function, fragmentation, functions of sperms, eggs, ability to conceive, miscarriages. These are the things that people are worried about. So you might see a post like this, this guy with a laptop and worried that is your laptop causing your infertility. Or you might see something like this. This was on the news. You know, can laptops cause infertility? It was a whole news segment on this. And you might see other things like this. You know, can putting your cell phone in your pocket cause infertility? Could cell phones be causing female factor infertility? This worry is everywhere. And this is what it's kind of stemming from. But what does the evidence show? Let's talk about male factor fertility first. So we talked about the first issue is really heat, especially like with laptops or cell phones kind of in your pocket. What what does heat exposure do for male factor fertility? Now, I actually have a whole nother video here talking about boxers versus briefs. So this originates from, we know that sperm is within testicles that are within the scrotum that's actually held outside of the body. And so the natural temperature of testicles is about two to three degrees lower than body temperature. And so the thought is the natural temperature for sperm and to help it function best should be at a lower temperature than our body. That's where that boxers versus briefs worry and question for my patients come from. That same worry comes from laptops. So what does the evidence show? The first study was published in Human Reproduction in 2005, and basically they showed that using a laptop increases scrotal temperature. So they had 29 healthy male volunteers came into the lab, used a laptop for 60-minute sessions, and they were actually measuring scrotal temperature about every three minutes during this 60-minute laptop use session. And they showed that using a laptop for that long increased scrotal temperature by about two to three degrees Celsius. So using a laptop actually does increase scrotal temperature, but then the follow-up question is, well, does it matter? So the second study I want to share with you was published in the Journal of Andrology in 2022, and it was looking at over 3,000 men who were planning to try to conceive. They were not diagnosed with infertility. They're planning to try to conceive, and they were asked about certain heat exposures, you know, fever, hot tub use, sauna use, boxers versus briefs, and laptop use. So lots of different heat exposures. And then they were followed to see how long it took them to conceive. And in that study, and I mentioned the study in the boxers versus briefs video as well, the only two exposures that dramatically had an impact on time to conception and male factor fertility was a febrile illness within the last three months or hot tub use more than three times a month had an impact. But 
boxers versus briefs didn't have an impact and laptop use did not have an impact on time to conception. So that's what we know about heat exposure and laptops in the literature so far. But what about Wi-Fi and electromagnetic fields and that impact on male factor fertility? So I have three studies to share with you on this particular topic. The first study published in 2011 in the Journal of Fertility and Sterility was designed to see if laptop use impacted sperm function. 29 healthy volunteers gave two sperm samples. So one sample was collected without laptop use or exposure to Wi-Fi. And the second sample was collected after four hours of laptop use with Wi-Fi very close by. And they found a significant decrease in sperm motility and an increase in sperm DNA fragmentation after this four-hour exposure to Wi-Fi through the use of a laptop. The second study is just showing that in animal models, extended exposure to electromagnetic fields can impact hormone production and changes in testosterone levels with more and more electromagnetic field exposure. And the third study I want to share with you published in 2020 in the Journal of Reproductive of sciences was trying to gather information from a lot of these smaller studies, compile the data and try to come up with a review or a recommendation. And I'll read to you the results from this review article. Based on the outcomes of both human and animal studies analyzed in this review, animal and human spermatozoa or sperm exposed to EMR or electromagnetic radiation admitted by mobile phones had reduced motility, structural anomalies, and increased oxidative stress due to to overproduction of reactive oxygen species. Scrotal hypothermia, meaning high temperatures in the scrotum and increased oxidative stress might be the key mechanisms through which EMR affects male fertility. However, these negative effects appear to be associated with the duration of mobile phone use or possibly laptop use as well. Basically, the studies are saying that there is evidence that long and prolonged exposure to electromagnetic fields, either through your laptop, Wi-Fi, cell phone use, whether it's heat or the magnetic fields, it is showing impact on production, function, motility, DNA fragmentation of sperm. So before you go and throw out your laptop and your cell phone, just realize that we're still learning and we're gathering information, but it does seem to be that prolonged use might be something to pay attention to. So what about female fertility? If you're able to show this impact in sperm, what's going on with eggs? Unfortunately, I could not find data looking at egg function or outcomes of female fertility solely based on laptop use, cell phone use, heat exposure, or electromagnetic fields. It's just more difficult to study eggs. Eggs are inside ovaries that are inside the human body. It's not as easy to study impact of eggs as it is to study sperm. I did find some reassuring expert opinions I'd like to share with you. Just when experts are asked, they sort of say, hey, you know, the ovaries are inside your body, even if you're using a laptop, it's away from heat, it's probably okay. As far as the electromagnetic fields, we really just don't have the studies. But before we worry too much, just realize that we're trying to figure it out. You know, we just don't have a lot of data right now, specifically for female fertility and for eggs. If you're curious about how electromagnetic fields or Wi-Fi could impact egg function or sperm function, if you really want to nerd out, I have an amazing article for you that gets deep into the data and what we know so far and the theories behind these waves of electromagnetic fields and how it could impact oxidative stress, DNA function, gene expression. This article is absolutely amazing. So published in 2016 in a journal called Electron Physician. I didn't even know this journal existed, but it's amazing. It's a review on electromagnetic fields and the reproductive system. And it's an incredible article. It goes through the worries, it goes through the evidence, and it goes through the biology, and it gets really deep into the theories. And if you really want to nerd out, I highly recommend finding this article and reading it for yourself. One of the coolest things about providing this education on YouTube is I get to explore questions on a deeper level I did not learn about laptops and cell phone use and its impact of fertility in medical school or my fellowship at Stanford. It was just not something that we talked about. Now, 
it's probably because it was in the dark ages. Um, but truly, you know, it's just, we're still learning so much, but my patients ask me questions like this every day. So the fact that you asked this question, this question came from comments in previous YouTube videos. I get these questions from you. I get these questions from patients, and then I get an excuse to really dive deep into a topic. So make sure that you comment with questions that you have and things that you want to learn about. It's really important to stay connected. I love doing these videos and I am really here to help you. So let's recap. We have talked about the worries that my patients and maybe you have about laptop use, cell phone use, Wi-Fi, electromagnetic fields, and its impact on our fertility. This is a common concern and a common worry. And people are researching it. You know, you're, they're looking at it in lots of different ways. It happens to be easier to study sperm and its impact than it is to study eggs, but you can, re, you know, very rationally think that if sperm function and oxidative stress is being affected by electromagnetic fields, it could be happening to the eggs too. It's important to pay attention to. There's limited research, but I have shared with you what I was able to find. The data varies, but I think we should pay attention. I think it's okay to ask questions about this. Laptops, Wi-Fi, cell phones, they are incredibly convenient. They're incredibly amazing. They've helped us stay connected um, but it is a very new technology, especially if you think about how long we have been on this planet and reproducing. We don't know the long-term impact of this. And so it's important to pay attention. So now the question is, what do I tell my patients? Now, listen, you should always talk to your doctor about your personal situation. But when my patients ask me about laptop use, cell phone use, Wi-Fi, et cetera, this is what I tell them. Hey, listen, we still have a lot to learn. We are studying this. There could be an impact on male factor fertility. Makes sense if it's affecting sperm, it could be affecting eggs. But I am not ready to completely throw out my laptop or I'm not going to recommend that you throw away your cell phone. But I think that it's important to have an awareness and that there could be some things that you could possibly do to decrease its impact if it's really true. Number one, don't keep your laptop directly in your lap. Put a pillow between you and your laptop or use a desk. We know heat, there's a lot of evidence that heat impacts sperm function and parameters. And so keeping your laptop, no matter what you think about, Wi-Fi or electromagnetic fields, keeping heat away from your lap should be helpful. Number two, only keep your cell phone in your pocket when you're mobile. So when you are walking around, you're running errands, you're commuting, it's okay to keep your cell phone in your pocket. But when you are at work or you're at home, get it out of your pocket and get it on a surface, just keeping it away from your reproductive organs. And number three, don't sleep right next to your cell phone or your laptop. You know, you spend a lot of your day asleep and in your bedroom. And one source that I could find said recommended keeping your laptop, your cell phone, your Wi-Fi a minimum of four feet away from you while you're sleeping can dramatically decrease your exposure. I hope you learned something today. That's why I'm here. Like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have, topics you want me to cover. Subscribe to this channel so you get my weekly video. Let's stay in touch. Subscribe to my newsletter. It's a, it'll be a link in the description. I really appreciate your being here. And as always, stick around for more learning.